All right, here we go. So we just got this steering wheel all ready now for the blue structure light. So we just got done, remember, using laser 14 cross line. Two different technologies. So that again is one awesome thing about Metro X. It's technically two scanners in one because these are two different technologies. Laser, and now we're using the blue structure light. But because we're using blue structure light, before with a laser 14 cross lines, we didn't have to spray it, just had to add markers. Now I just added the scanning spray to it to deal with the glossiness of the steering wheel. And also this is gonna be feature tracking. So I loaded this thing up with a whole bunch of random objects so that it does not lose tracking. Cause as we know, the steering wheel itself is really not the most full of features. The scanner can easily get lost. So we added all these different things. And this is kind of fun. I tried scanning it earlier just from this angle, but I found the best is if we're scanning from the top. So we rigged this up with this, I guess it's a mic stand. And that's kind of showing the versatility of the actual handle of Metro X because it has the standard screw in the back that just screwed right into this mic stand. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the auto turntable and it's gonna, I think I'm gonna do it three times. And once it makes a full revolution around, I'm gonna always pull this back a little bit. So it should take about me adjusting this three times to get the full scan of the steering wheel. So let's get into it. I'm already linked to the turntable, but check it out. Auto turntable scan settings. Let me just show that to you here. So rotation interval, just talking about how much it's gonna be turning every time. I found that 15 degrees is the best. You can go anywhere from five to 30 degrees. You know, five is just turning a little bit. 15 seems to be pretty good. And rotation speed, doesn't matter too much with this. It's just whether it be, while turning those 15 degrees, if it turns fast or slower. I set that up for 71. 90 being the slowest, 35 being the fastest. And then you can see how many rotations you want it to go around. I'm going to do three. So let's select that and it's all going counterclockwise. We're at a good distance here. Exposure is at three. Let's get started.
All right, here we go. So we just made it all the way around one time. I'm gonna adjust this now so that we can capture more and gradually get out to the handle area. But as you can see, there's a lot of downtime when you're using the auto turntable. So really, that's a nice part of it. You could kinda go do something else in the meantime because it's just all automated. Once you program the turntable to the amount of degree that you want it to turn and the speed and how many times around, and if I was scanning a smaller item, it would really be convenient because I could totally just walk away and not worry about it. But because this one is larger, I still have to pull the scanner back a little bit. So I just adjusted it back some to be able to capture more of the steering wheel. And as you can see, the results it gets are just really nice. All right, here we go. So let's just pull it back for the last time a little bit more to catch the last bit of the handle. And then we'll have our full scan of the steering wheel using full structured light with the auto turntable. And sometimes you might have to play around with it because there's a possibility I could pull it back too far. And then when I start it up again, I could lose track. And that's not a big deal because you can just go back to the previous frame and then I'll just adjust this a little closer. Let's see if I get it right this time. So it's, it's okay, but I actually want to pull it back a little more because as you can see, it's not quite getting to the tip of the handle. So let's adjust it somewhat more. See how it does now. So I'm still not happy with that. Let's pull it back once more. I'll go back a couple frames. Okay, perfect, now we got the full handle. So just let that rotate around one last time and then we'll be good to go. All right, so there we have it. Honestly, a really nice scan. I'm looking forward to merging the two. So let's first edit this though. So complete. Let's fuse it, do the recommended amount, 0.62.
Great, and before we do isolation, I recommend you can just slice off this bottom. So the bit that I caught of the turntable itself, just use the selector tool on the side. You can cut right across and get rid of that. Reverse it. So now when doing isolation, it should really be able to detect all those extra objects I put in there. Yep, did a great job with that. Delete those. Very cool. I'll just mesh it. Then for some fill holes, it's like curved obviously because the steering wheel is a curved object. Detect. Honestly, and you don't have to fill holes at this point either. So maybe I'll just wait to fill holes after we merge it. So there we go. There is our result after using the auto turntable with a full structured light. Really gets a nice solid scan catching the details, even seeing how well it captured the bolts that are connecting the, the spindles on the steering wheel is impressive. So now we have this side that we captured with the full structured light and the other side that we captured with using the laser scanner function in Metro X 14 cross line. So now let's merge these two and check out our final product.